told me something. Welcome to Zanzibar, it's an island, it can rain anytime. Whatever gets wet, it will dry. That's why we are like trying to squeeze, you get out of this uh, arrival uh, port, you'll find people walking with the rain. They will never stop doing what they are doing because it's raining. Uh, lots of people in the mainland, Okay, I wanted them to finish, then we we'll proceed. Um, no matter what, you'll find the people in Zanzibar doing what they are doing, even if it's raining. In the mainland, you have seen a lot of people, hardly nobody without shoes. But here, they use what is called elephant foot. No shoes, they go up and down since the island is flat, it's not rocky that much. The flow is not that even, but not like there's no lots of potholes here in Stone Town like what we have seen in the mainland. So people here, they keep on moving, they do their life, although uh, for the others it's not easy, but people in Zanzibar would say what gets wet, it will dry. <laughs> so let's go with that slogan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's enjoy. Uh, we was to stop at the House of Wonders. I have seen it from the boat that they are doing some renovation. And uh, I will cut it short. Wilfred will explain to you. Actually, here is Wilfred, our guide. He will explain to you the building, the like light blue, green. The building can be seen there at the side. It is known as, as old dispensary. Came to be a dispensary, and that was around 1900. But for today, it this is Stone Town Cultural Center, and it is owned by Aga Khan. Do you know Aga Khan? Uh, yes, that's the owner of that building over there. Um, Aga Khan is the owner of the Serena chain. Serena hotels, Serena lodges, Serena camps. He is, he is living in Paris. Born and raised in India. He invested like all that he have, he, 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 he come up with, inherited from the parents, mostly in East Africa. Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. Rwanda also now. So the paving you see along the sides of the road, he did it. So that, so, so that the people of Zanzibar will accept what he wanted to invest here. So he invested a hospital, he invested a hotel, Zanzibar Serena. So anyway, he did something good for them. <laughs> so we will drive to six degrees south of the equator, which is just around the corner. If it's not because of the rain, I would put all the luggage in the car and then we just cross that narrow street is wonderful thing because we already start taking photos then get to the six degrees for now i think and i have decided without asking you <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the head can decide without uh, the rest of the body yes um this area here it's known as Farodani open air restaurant the small place is where we were supposed to go and sit and have lunch but that big 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 event it happened it happens during the night and because of the weather it won't be that easy for us to sit there so we go to six degrees you can order your lunch while we're waiting the weather to clear you can order your lunch slowly have your lunch and after lunch we'll decide the six degrees house is just around the corner after lunch, we'll decide if we can come to the old fort first. This is the old fort. And the house of water is next to it, although Wilfred explained to me that there is a renovation going on. The one part was falling off. And that's where the, the world shortest war took place. How and why, Wilfred will explain. And uh, during the lunch or after lunch, if you just get out of the uh, Six Degrees restaurant, turn to your left, there's a nice um, carving store there. 
out here, we have what is called Memories of Zanzibar. And most of the people who are doing business here are Arabs and Indians. So I hope tomorrow we can get time to, to explore this island. And Wilfred will be with us today and tomorrow and he will do lots of it. He will give you lots of information during our visit. If the information is too much and you have forgotten part of it, do not worry because you can come again and then again. Well you can watch my video. Hello. Jambo. Jambo. Very nice to see you. Welcome to Zanzibar. My name is Wilfred. Our driver is Nasser. I am your local tour guide. Ready to give you enough information about Zanzibar. So that you remember that the name Zanzibar is from Arabic. In Arabic, it is named Zanj Al Bahari. In English, it means the land of the black people at the sea. So that when Arabs came to Zanzibar, they came to find out the locals were black. So that they gave the name to the island, similar to the colors of the people. Today, not everybody is black, like the way it was at the beginning, because of the intermarriage between Arabs and locals. Um, I will leave Wilfred keep on giving you the lecture. I'll get into the restaurant, get the table for us, and then I'll come and tell you where we'll be sitting, okay? Okay, by the time Arabs came here, the locals were believing in different things, not believing in God. And remember that by that time, Christianity was not yet here, so that the Arabs got a very good opportunity to convert locals to be Muslims. Which means today, Zanzibar population, we are about 1 million people, sorry, 1.5 million people living here, and out of that, 95% are Muslims, and 5% we are Christians. Very good, we are all of us living together. We don't live separate from each other. The Shias and the Sunnis can marry to each other. Can he pray to each other mosques? Understood. Friday in Zanzibar is not a public off day. Like you know, we know for most of the Muslim majority countries, Friday is off day, but for Zanzibar, it is a working day. We are all of us dressing the same. Some ladies can be seen in black, can be seen covering, living on eyes. They are not only Muslims. Even the Christians do that understood we speak Swahili that is our native and our national language then we speak English as our second language remember Zanzibar came to be colonized by the Arabs more than 200 years but Arabic is not our first language English is our first language because when the English people came to Zanzibar Okay, they came to make sure locals must be educated, and that was around 1890. So that they came to open schools for locals. The locals were taught how to read and write the language Swahili. So that's why today you can find out we do write Swahili by using English alphabets, not Arabic. So that the language Arabic, Arabic. The majorities use it when are conducting prayers, but not when are uh, communicating 
to, to each other. Understood? I'm gonna slow you back up a little bit. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you come right here? Perfect, so we can see you. Okay, very good. So that is the way the weight is around here. Remember that Zanzibar is the union of two big islands. Do you know the names? Maybe can you tell me one of the names? Tanganyika. Tanganyika, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the name Zanzibar is combining two big islands. This one, where you are now, it is known as, as Unguja Island. The biggest one and the most developed one. You go to the north, you go to Pemba Island. Then apart from those two big, there is about five zeros, more small ones. And most of them, people do not live in because are made of corals. So the name Zanzibar is the name for the archipelago. The name combining all of the islands. Maybe you saw some of the islands were coming at the sea. Okay, so that is Zanzibar. So the population of 1.5 million people, it is for all of those islands. Very good. Zanzibar, we are a part of Tanzania, you know that. The name Tanzania, somebody came to speak about it. It came to be there because of the union between Zanzibar and Tanganyika. So after uniting, we came to make one country, Tanzania, but with two governments. So that's what we are with our own government. We are what we call semi-autonomous, which means Zanzibar we are with our own president. We are with our own national anthem. We are with our own parliament. Understand? But the Zanzibar president is not commander-in-chief. Tanzania president is the one who is commander-in-chief. So that during elections, people from Zanzibar, we are voting for Tanzania president and for Zanzibar president. But people from there, the mainland, they only vote for Tanzania president. They don't vote for Zanzibar president. Do you understand? Yes. yes. So we are together, but sometimes we look separate, but we are, okay, we are all together. Economically, we depend much on the tourism industry. Thank you so much for coming. The locals are very happy to see you. You remember what happened, what's going on? But uh, thanks God you can see the light at, at the end of the tunnel. Understand? Otherwise, we had a very difficult time from that time to this time. Understood? Yes, they have to see you because for me, I am a tour guide and today is my first day to work since March. Understand? Since March. Understand? But you are getting better. Understand, it is almost the disease is gone. Understand, we had to fight up, uh, against it. And as you know, it came to be a war, but everybody has got, it came to be having his own means of fighting it, understand? Mm -hmm. But uh, thanks God, we can see now, we are getting better. i happy to see you, looking at you, no face masks, understand? Yes. That's very good, that is, that is very good. So now, the business is catching up. So the locals are happy to see you coming here. Remember that as I spoke to you, we live much on depending on each other. I don't care, you are a Muslim, I am a Christian. We care each other, understand? We greet each other the same language. I am Wilfred, I am a Catholic, but I greet my fellows, Assalamu Alaikum, Alaikum Salam, understand? I don't care that, I mean, understand? That's the way, the way it is. So because of taking care of each other, and because of the business getting better now, Whatever we make from somewhere, we can be sharing to each other. Then we can make the life go on like the way, the way, the way it was before. Secret wise, we are very safe. Not hundred percent. We are not angels, okay? <laughs> but we are very good. Understand? Very safe to walk around. Very safe to buy whatever you like. To buy from here but as i spoke to you that we are not we are not angels whenever you're walking through the lockers let's start the market people are walking around you understand excusing each other uh, please make, make sure your items like your mobiles like hotel keep it somewhere where it's safe okay. understand we'll go slowly come okay okay, okay. Yes. see you again yes a lot of things to speak to you
so large style for lunch so that you are afraid to leave any items you think no need to move with it to the place for lunch. Otherwise take it, okay? 100% others spoke to you, okay? Let us take it. 